So absorbable sutures are a technique that we've developed where we can use um, an absorbable product that's sort of PLLA, polylactic acid, along with polyglycolic acid. Um, and they're, the way the sutures are set up, they are bi-mode, so they go in two different directions, and they're the suture, and then they have cones associated with them, and those cones are the anchoring part of the suture. So we can place the sutures into the cheek, um, and we can fix them down below and then lift the skin on top of that, on the top part um, after we make the placement of the sutures. What we find is you get this um, lifting capability at the beginning, but because of the actions um, chemistry-wise chemistry of PLLA and PLGA, you get a volumizing effect over time. So the advantage is that we get this lift and then we get volumizing of the skin, which has been demonstrated um, histologically to produce new collagen, um, which is what PLLA and PLGA do. So we have a procedure that can um, last in most people upwards of two years, um, and the results have been outstanding. The sutures that we use today are different than the threads that we used to use in the past. And not all threads are bad because again, of some of the technologies and how they work. But the biggest problem with the threads that were introduced, especially in the US market, almost now 15 to 20 years ago, is that um, because of how the, these barbed wires, which is what they are, were put into the skin, patients had reactions to them and, and, and some were not favorable. So sometimes the barb part of it would extrude out into the skin. Um, sometimes because of improper placement, it just wasn't right. And so what, is, what was found with the at least two products that came to market 15 or 20 years ago, um, they weren't, they, the efficacy didn't match this and the safety profile didn't work. Um, and actually both the products were pulled from the market. One of the things with the sutures that we did early on um, when we brought the technology to the United States, working with my colleagues sort of um, work with cadavers and work um, in human subjects on how the proper placement of these through what we call vectors are associated um, with the procedure. So we know if, that if you have a straight line vector, um, you can get a proper angle to, to actually cause the lift. Um, if you put it in in such a way that was done in, past, in the past, they used what was called a U technique. And when you use a U technique, um, with any kind of suture or thread, you can't anchor it and it doesn't follow physics that you can actually get the kind of lift when you do a vector. So we did lots of studies early on with vectors. We did lots of studies early on with satisfaction using the vectors. There's a histology study that's finishing now which actually showed um, the, the type 1 and type 3 collagen production. So again, the, the, taking the hypothesis of how this worked um, and now into the final clinical stages based on what we did experimentally, um, you know, we have a pretty sound procedure when it's done correctly. Potential problems associated whenever you do a procedure like this, again, we're doing the sutures are bi-directional, so you actually go insert them and then you, where you come out, and then you go back in the same hole on the opposite direction. If they're not placed properly, if the insertion of the needle is not placed properly, you can actually get a dimpling formation in the skin. It, 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 it occurs. Um, the nice part about it is if it happens, usually within three or four days, up to seven days, it goes away. I've never seen a dimple last longer than a week. Um, but I tell patients they may dimp get a dimple, and that's part of our discussions. Obviously, when we go through any procedure with a patient, we talk about potential adverse events. Um, you can get swelling, bruising, um, infection, all those kind of things exist. Um, I tell people the, one of the first patients I ever did, I, I actually caused a bruise. I've never seen one since, um, it, and it goes away fairly quickly. Um, outside of that, I've never seen an infection. Um, I've, I've now had swelling that lasted more than a very short period of time. If you place the sutures properly, which is in a, in a certain plane about five millimeters under the skin, um, there's no pain upon procedure. 
um, if the patient notes any pain, you're in the wrong plane. And again, the swelling and, and stuff that can maybe associated with other procedures should be non-existent because again, we're in a pretty um, safe spot within the skin if they're placed correctly. So training and, and learning the procedure, knowing your anatomy, that's key to keeping any um, you know, adverse event to a minimum.